Hey everybody, so I have my paper here. It's just a piece of eight and a half by 11 computer paper. And the first thing that we're going to do today is we're gonna fold it in half, short end to short end. So you wanna line up your sides, pull one side down, slide your finger to the fold, go down and then up. Open up your paper. You can flatten that fold a little bit. And now we know where the middle of our paper is. I'm going to draw with a Sharpie today. You can draw with whatever you want, with a pencil, color pencil. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some dots on our paper. You know that I really like to start off a drawing with dots, so I know where I'm starting and I know where I'm going. So in the top corner here, we're gonna put a dot, top corner there, and on the fold that we made, not on the very bottom, not in the middle, somewhere about here, I need you to put another dot. We're gonna be drawing the sides of our cat. So the first thing that we're going to draw, we're going to draw a line down. And then when you get to about here, you're going to curve your line and hit your dot. Remember, you can always use your finger to practice the curve that you need to make. So here, curve, hit your dot. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Starting up here, we're just gonna go straight down and right about here, we're gonna curve and hit the dot. We need another dot on our paper. So on the fold, right about here on your fold, we're going to put a dot. And what we're going to do, and this is where you really would probably be a good idea to use your finger to practice, we're gonna put your finger at this top part, we're gonna reach to the dot, and we're gonna curve it into this side of the paper and down to where those two lines connect. So one more time with my finger. Now with my marker. Starting here, look, reach for your dot. Stop if you need a break. Curve it and you wanna hit that one there. Perfect. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. Know where your dot is. If you can't see it, you might wanna make it just a little bit bigger. With your finger, start here, curve around, and connect to there. Start here, hit your dot, curve around, and connect. Now we're ready for eyes. Our eyes are going to be long. So where this dot is, imagine you're going to draw a line all the way over and put a dot. So from here to here, we're going to draw a little bit of a frowny line from here to there and then a smiley line underneath. Kind of squinty eyes. Same thing here. Imagine where that dot will be. Frowny line there. Smiley line there. Hard part is over. Now we're going to draw our skinny um, eyeballs in the middle. Curve and curve, almost like a football on its side. You can even, if you have room, make another one on the outside, right in the middle, same thing over here, making sure they're touching and then bringing them out. Right here where our lines connected originally, you're going to put your tongue, so just kind of a U-shaped line right there on the bottoms of the cheeks, if you have room, two straight lines for the neck. And the last, well, not the last thing, but the next thing that we're going to add is the nose. And if you look closely at Paul Clay's painting, you'll notice that his cat has a heart-shaped nose. So we're gonna add a heart-shaped nose onto our cat. So, starting here at the bottom, the Sides of the heart are pretty much already made for you. So starting up here then, we're gonna go bump, 
bump for the heart-shaped nose. We'll add our whiskers. We're gonna reach them all the way, all the way outside of the cat. Nice long whiskers. Same on the other side. One, two, three. And the last thing that we're missing is our bird. Our bird's gonna sit here small in this area up here. We're gonna start with the legs first. Starting on the fold, I'm going to draw just kind of a top of a triangle. So there and there. Those are my legs. We're gonna put two little lines out for the feet. Above this, we're going to make the body of the bird. We don't wanna make it bigger than the legs. So starting here to here, I'm going to make a smile or a frowny line. I'm going to connect that and make a smiley line going through the legs. I'm going to make the same shape right here for the head, but a little smaller. I'm going to put an eye in the middle, and right at the end, I'm going, at the back, I'm going to make a triangle tail. And there's our helpful bird who saved the cat from being stuck in the cage. Now I just have a jar of colored pencils that I'm going to use to color in my bird. Um, I might use some watercolors I have here to paint it as well, but again, you get to choose how you would like to add color to your cat and bird. Thank you.